In today's mobility training tip, I'm going to cover some basic little cues for when you're standing and going about your day for just full body alignment and also for like when you're doing exercises such as a squat. This is kind of brought to my attention. I put out a video where I was doing that uh, squat to hinge motion and I personally have had some clunky hips and knees coming from my low back issue. So as much as you know I'm prescribing stuff, I'm not perfect by any means that I don't I don't claim to be perfect, but what I do know is I try to do everything perfect, as, as close to perfect as I can, you know, with how I'm learning and, you know, gaining knowledge in this field. But it kind of brought me back to some just basic little cueing from Kelly Starrett from A Supple Leopard, you know, his Becoming a Supple Leopard book. And basically the whole point is gaining a lot of uh, torque in the body from the ground up to make a very resilient structure. So we can just look at this from your day if you're just standing. When you do a push-up, you don't just do the push-up. You screw your hands into the ground. You make that motion. It can create like a rotational torque in the shoulder joint. Do the same thing with your feet if you're just standing. So you're there, all four corners of your feet flat. Inhale. Exhale, you can cue it. You screw your feet into the ground. You squeeze your butt. Maybe lightly tighten your legs. And as you exhale, you bring your belly button in towards the spine. Okay? You're just making that motion with your feet. And what that does, it helps to cue your glutes to fire. Your glutes are firing. Get a little more tightness in your legs, but also create solid knees, okay? I've gotten into a bad habit with the way my hips are working. While uh, squatting, the knees are kind of caving in. That valgus knee fault, and it makes sense. I've had a lot of knee swelling and knee pain. So thank you, someone pointing that out in one of my videos. I really appreciate it because you get used to moving certain ways, and you sometimes can't look at yourself objectively because you're always inside your own flesh suit. So you can tie that in when you're squatting. Prep movement. Screwing your feet out, trying to keep them as straight as possible. You can keep them at maybe a light 30 degree angle. Screw your feet, squeeze your glutes. Then when you squat, you can drop in the hole a lot better. Your chest is up, you can come up. Screw your feet out. Your knees are stronger, they're driving out, they're not caving in. They're there. And then also, I found it's been cueing my butt a lot more. And I have uh, trouble with glute activation. With the way my low back kind of hurts, my glutes just don't want to fire some days. And my buddy Austin, who's just filming this, can attest to. I was doing some kettlebell swings with that, with these cues in mind. I was just screwing my feet out. I was doing kettlebell swings, and I had such a squeeze and such an activation of my glutes. I literally have a cramp in my left butt cheek right now. Like I'm not playing. With that said, it's just a little cueing. It, just, it always reminds me a little cueing goes a long way. And that's what I wanted to share that with you today. You might take it, you might leave it. You might be like, I can squat, ass to grass, no problem. Great. I'm jealous of you. With that said, guys, hope that helped you. Just kind of cue maybe some little bowel mechanics you can use to keep healthy knees, healthy feet, healthy hips, healthy kinetic chain. That's what we're all about. Connect with me below. Subscribe, like, comment, give the channel some love. Really appreciate it, guys. Have a good one.